If you look around you, plastic is everywhere, from the packaging on your lunch to the stretch in your underwear. Despite having only been around for less than 100 years, plastic is now inescapable in our daily lives. And it's so cheap and easy to produce that it's used for all kinds of disposable products too. The problem is that unlike most natural materials, plastic doesn't decompose, at least not easily or very quickly at all, which means that when we throw it away, it sticks around somewhere for a very long time. And for a lot of it, that somewhere is the sea. Worldwide, we are currently producing nearly 260 million tonnes of plastic every year, from drinking straws to toothbrushes, plastic bags to drinks bottles. And while the well-intentioned of us are happy to sort our plastics into the recycling, in reality, only one in five drinks bottles get recycled, and more than a trillion plastic bags are discarded every year. The US and UK alone throw away 550 million and drinking straws every day. When not recycled, plastic waste goes to landfill. But since it doesn't break down, it sits there, waiting to be whipped up by the wind and blown inevitably out to sea. Add that to litter left on beaches around the world, the tons of plastic irresponsibly but deliberately dumped into rivers and oceans and the microbeads that have been fashionable in cosmetics recently, and you have yourself a massive problem. The scientists have estimated that an average of more than eight and a half billion kilograms of plastic waste makes its way into the sea every year. That's equivalent to the weight of nearly 600 blue whales and would cover an area the size of Oxfordshire in the UK, ankle deep. It's not getting any better either. Us humans have produced and disposed of more plastic in the last 10 years than in the last century put together and the annual flux of plastic into our seas is on track to double by 2025. It's thought that if things don't improve, by 2050, the combined weight of plastic in the ocean will be more than the weight of all the fish, which can't be good news. And right now, across the vastness of the ocean, there are roughly 46 thousand pieces of plastic for every square kilometre of ocean, meaning that on average you can't go more than five metres anywhere in the seas without encountering a bit of plastic. But that's not quite how it works. Plastic floats and the surface of the ocean is never still. Pushed along by winds from above and ocean currents from below, plastic pieces can travel huge distances from where they started. Where the ocean currents meet and spiral around each other, it creates something known as a gyre. And these gyres are now filling up with plastic as the floating flotsam is caught up in the flow. The biggest of them is in the North Pacific and is affectionately known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It comes covers an area around five and a half times the size of the UK and concentrates plastics from the US, Mexico, Japan and China. Within this massive area, there's thought to be at least three million tonnes of plastics and plastic particles outnumber plankton, the basis of all ocean food chains, six to one. It's not just the North Pacific either. There are six major plastic gyres out there in Earth's oceans, including the Bay of Biscay, North Atlantic, the Bay of Bengal. Combined, the floating oceanic trash pile covers a full quarter of the Earth's surface. All that plastic poses a horrible threat to marine ecosystems, not just from entanglement either. Animals mistake floating pieces for food, but they can't digest them. It's thought that around a million seabirds and 100,000 marine mammals die as a result of eating plastic every year. And while the plastic isn't easily broken down, it can be broken up into tiny particles about the size of a poppy seed. These microplastics are eaten by even the smallest of planktonic animals in the sea and are passed up the food chain to accumulate in large numbers in predator fish and mammals. In fact, as a top predator, the average seafood eating person in Europe will swallow up to 11,000 plastic particles every year. The scale of our plastic pollution problem is truly terrifying and we're only just beginning to realise it. Restrictions on plastic bags, banning of microbeads in cosmetics and a growing movement to tax or outlaw plastic drinking straws are all steps in the right direction. But even if we stopped using plastic right now, without a major cleanup effort, we're going to be left with our plastic seas for a long time to come. 
If you were shocked and amazed by the amount of plastic in our oceans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and check out our great ocean content on the BBC Earth family of channels. Give us a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.